HealthWorks, this story begins with video of an elaborate life-saving machine. You've probably never seen anything like it before. And for this Troy woman, Beaumont doctors knew that machine was probably her last chance to survive COVID. Going, Christy. You're doing great, honey. A mom encourages her daughter to walk. This time the daughter is 29 years old and mom can only be there virtually on an iPad. I can't believe you're walking. When Christy Kowalski tests positive for COVID-19 in November 2020, she never expects her strong body to completely shut down. Everyone says like one minute I was texting them and talking to them and the next thing we knew I was on a ventilator. When you inhale, the lungs oxygenate your blood, the heart pumps it. But in really sick COVID patients like Christy, the lungs are too weak. Initially, we provide them support with ventilators to help push the oxygen into the lungs and help it get into the blood. But sometimes the lungs are so sick that that doesn't work. Beaumont doctor Felicia Evascu knew her only option was the ECMO, a complex machine that removes all the blood from the body, oxygenates it, and pumps it back in as the heart and lungs rest. This is where the ECMO went in, and then it came out my leg. The biggest concern when patients are on ECMO is that we are doing everything for them when it comes to giving them oxygen. So if the machines were to stop, they almost instantaneously die because they're holding their breath. Several weeks go by, slowly Christy's lungs heal. The rest of her body is weak. My phone was too heavy to even lift up. It would take days to sit up, then stand, then walk while still connected to the ECMO. These are the first steps to a long recovery. Now in physical therapy, still on medication and using an oxygen tank, Christy looks forward to feeling stronger, but she also looks back. I got cards from people who are friends of friends. No visitors because of COVID, instead cards and posters to celebrate the holidays as Christy spends three months in the hospital. While she doesn't remember much, she'll never forget how the team at Beaumont made her feel. They did a hundred times more than you would ever expect a nurse to do. And I am thankful every single day for each and every one of them because without them, I would probably be in a lot worse shape. I think mentally I would not have been okay. But, you know, they kept me going. They told me how strong I was, and I have to thank them for my life. Christy is also celebrating getting engaged shortly after getting home after her 90 days in the hospital. Now, when it comes to the ECMO and COVID patients, data is being collected around the world to see how it can help the sickest COVID patients survive, especially those who are young and relatively healthy before the infection, those who can handle that treatment. The belief is without the ECMO, most of these patients would not have survived. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Centifanti.